Everything you need to know about the Assassin's Creed story in three minutes. Spoiler alert. Desmond Miles wakes up in a science lab to the sultry voice of Veronica Mars. All downhill after that. But despite the light bondage, it's not a date. Turns out he's been kidnapped by a sinister corporation called Abstergo Industries. They strap him into a memory extracting device called the Animus, but they don't yank out memories of prom or that wild weekend in Vegas. This thing reaches all the way back to hidden memories of your ancestors. We find out Desmond descended from Altair, an ancient assassin that rocks the robe and has no fear of heights. Altair was part of the Third Crusade, where he tried and failed to steal an important artifact from Solomon's Temple. Turns out the Knights Templar are mortal enemies of Altair's assassin brotherhood. They want this artifact, one of the so-called Pieces of Eden, for themselves. But Altair's epic fail went beyond his botched treasure hunt. He also messed up the murder of Templar Grandmaster Robert de Sable. So assassin leader Al-Mualim lets Altair redeem himself by killing nine men. These are real-life figures from the Crusades that profited from death and chaos. So Altair heads to key medieval metros like Jerusalem and Damascus to whack these guys. But first, some grunt work. Evidence gathering, pickpocketing, eavesdropping, collecting purple flags. Sometimes Altair's life is as thrilling as sitting on a park bench. Eventually, he gets in close and drives his super secret assassin blade into some jugulars. Back at Abstergo, Desmond slips in and out of the Animus, each time to check into a murder memory. The eggheads at Abstergo don't seem to mind letting Desmond wander around the lab at night unsupervised. Soon he discovers it's a modern day front for the Templars. They want that ultra magical piece of Eden for themselves, and they're willing to peel Desmond's brain like a plantain to get it. Over in medieval times, Altair finally kills that Desam guy and figures out that his boss Al Mualim isn't entirely on the up and up either. Turns out he's in league with the Templars, and he sent Altair on that kill fest to unite the warring Christians and Muslims against the assassins. And that piece of Eden? Al Mualim already has it. He tells Altair the pieces of Eden are artifacts of mass illusion from a time before history. They're responsible for creating religion by manufacturing events like the parting of the Red Sea and other theological favorites. Alti doesn't take the news well. He confronts Al Mualim, who cheats a bit by turning into a Jedi wizard. Look at the power I command! But Altair kills him and recovers the piece of Eden, but not before a holographic map of the world pops out revealing more pieces of Eden around the globe. Looks like there's a whole lot of mind control going on. It's the end of the line for Altair, but not for Desmond. Back at Abstergo, he discovers he's been in the Animus a bit too long. The memories and powers of his ancestors bleed into his own reality. He starts to see crazy visions like a wall covered with unpleasant prophecy, real alpha and omega stuff. It's one hell of a hangover, and Desmond decides to cure it with the hair of the dog that bit him. It's back to the Animus to shake a new branch of the family tree.